your way all the way to the front I have a special job for you in a moment. My name is Annie and it is my pleasure to welcome you all here today especially during our festive feature Hogwarts in the Snow. Uh, I'm going to start with a bit of a silly question though. Um, I hope people will agree with cheer though when I ask. Are there any Harry Potter fans here today? Yeah. Well you have come to the right place. This of course is the entrance hall to Hogwarts. That means there's something rather special. A round of applause for my birthday lovers as they welcome you to the one, the only great hall. Do come on in everyone because this is one of the largest, also one of the first ever sets to be built for the Harry Potter film. So as you make your way through the doors, you'll be able to see that we have digital lights, we have laid the tables with the Christmas feast from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, we have even lit the fires, sort of. It's what we call in the film industry a hot set. It's going to look fantastic. It's still Christmas here in the Great Hall. We have lined the walls with these six incredible Christmas trees from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And they are a real team effort. They were designed by our art department. They were then created by our prop making team, dressed by our set dressers, and then finally, even the special effects team led by John Richardson got in on the act. And the result is a little bit of a fairy you can see surfing the top of each tree. I'm going to draw your attention downwards now. I'm only going to ask a few seconds. But those are pretty little chicos over there, they do have a rather nasty habit of suddenly bursting into flame. And these, of course, are not real Christmas pudding. Give them an icy glow. And then finally, just behind the sculpture, you can just make out the form of Professor Flitwick. He is conducting his orchestra. Once again, these are the real instruments that we use during filming. We've just given them a nice fresh coat of silver paint and we positioned them by Rosie Goodwin, our set dresser, has positioned them to look like they're actually We make a lot of the um, prosthetics, which is called a uh, pro bondo piece, and it's basically a piece of silicone that we then fill with some pro bondo um, and let it dry and then you can literally put it on and then peel it off.